Great athletes still hoping to play in college can do the same thing. Name, image, and likeness is now a part of high school sports. Good evening, I'm Justin Cernsey. And I'm Janae Town. The first high school football games of the season are now just two days away. It's also the beginning of a new era in high school sports. Starting today, teenage athletes can begin cashing in on name, image, and likeness deals. High school sports in Iowa are more than X's and O's. Now student athletes can use name, image, and likeness to make dollars and cents. The genie's out of the bottle, right? There's this, this, there's no putting it back. On Wednesday, the Iowa High School Athletics Association and the Iowa Girls High School Athletics Union both began offering guidance for student athletes to cash in on NIL deals. IHSAA Executive Director Tom Keating says it's effective immediately. As high school students have always been allowed to make money. Uh, they just can't make it based on their skill. So they can't say, well, for every free throw I make, I get this much money. Ankeny High School head football coach Rick Nelson was still learning about the move as practice ended. I think the sport is, is, is a beautiful sport. I think all kids that are athletics are special. Um, the hard work they put in, but I, I don't know. Should they be, should they be paid? I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm kind of torn. The Hawks boast two of the state's top recruits. The kids have an opportunity to do this. Um, they have a right to do it. Quarterback J.J. Cole and athlete Jamison Patton both committed to play at Iowa State next fall. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. It's just, just going to have to put your standards in place and priorities and just set, stay, set uh, straight what you want and not let it get too, too big in your head about that stuff. There are strict guidelines, and athletes are not allowed to accept money from boosters. Find legal counsel, uh, find a tax attorney, uh, and make sure you check in with the organization that oversees whatever college you're thinking of going to, because we don't want them to jeopardize themselves. Now, NIL opens up a brand new lane for Iowa high school athletes. While the road remains uncertain, some of the state's top recruits say it should never derail them from the deal they've already made with their teammates. Well, honestly, at the end of the day, if you don't produce, um, there won't be any NIO deals. So importantly, the most important thing is going out there and showing what you can do on Friday nights. For some, the bright lights may have become a bit more eye-opening. I don't know. I, I still think it's going to be tough um, for some of the schools to compete. It's just going to be, you know, are the rich just going to keep getting richer? The lawyer could help with all the rules that come with NIL. Students are banned from participating in endorsement deals that promote gambling, alcohol, tobacco, cannabis, adult entertainment, or weapons. Schools and booster clubs are not allowed to compensate players. Compensation can also not be used to lure an athlete to a specific school. Also, students cannot be paid based on a specific achievement, such as how many points they score. Students are also banned from using school logos, mascots, or school facilities for NIL activity. Again, students are advised to get legal counsel to avoid potentially jeopardizing any college eligibility.